like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, Nadia. Yes, yes, I, I do like it. There's one thing that's very different, it's rather worrying. When I was a boy in England, I had a nanny. She was very strict, Nadia. Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America. Well, well, I'm sure. But, but the thing is, Laz, though, when, when, when I was a naughty boy, I, 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 I would get spanked. Na nanny, Nanny would spank me when I was naughty. And now, now Freddy needs Nanny, because when Freddy's naughty, he needs to get spanked. Well, there's some child psychologists who probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. Absolutely <laughs> rot, Laz, though. It's lovely. Freddy needs a Nanny. this guy a green card. This is Chatterbox. We're talking about short guys, nannies, taxes, and anything safe. These are a little extreme. How do you expect to be a responsible member of society if you don't understand how the government spends your money? Why are people afraid of numbers? Sine and cosine are two of the most elegant and incredible discoveries of humanity. I mean, this Cartesian coordinate system has an elemental power I find liberating and even sexy. I'm not ashamed to say it. Okay, thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, we'll have a special studio guest. Special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! ...and not. Oh, wonder if rats on More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. Thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D virtual reality polka literally anywhere. If it's a flash-in-the-pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of What a ride she's gonna be, huh? All right, listen. Get some wheels to the safe house at St. Mark's and pick up a few friends of mine. They're hitting the bank and they need a driver. I gave my word that you were the man, so don't screw this up. Get them to the bank before five o'clock, not a minute after. marriage. It must also be like a brother. The woman, she must be many, many arts. Be skilled in making house, cooking, changing the diapers on the babies. And she must also be a whore, a vixen in the bedroom, imaginative, exotic, constantly fresh. It is impossible. You change diapers and then you are a French maid? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in a marriage? Excitement? Exactly. Passion. Danger. How, Laszlo? How? Tell me how, and I give you a big, big kiss. Like I give a woman. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I give a woman, or even a donkey. Because, because you do not... Get to the bank on the main drag. Uh, kind of seems like bliss. I, I wasn't really up for kissing on air. I mean, why not, Laszlo? Am I not attractive? Am I not irresistible even to you? Well, no matter. Why all this talking about kissing? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. Hey, you no, say you like not you. want to kiss me. I was talking how to say, hypothetically, you make me all personal. It's a bit different. If I say, imagine if you were to you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Laszlo, you're right. You know, like yesterday's dinner after I eat, you're not so happy. It's a big deal. you be in and out in no time. Is impossible, last one. If a man was born, a man, 
a man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the house. So he starts flirting with the secretary, takes her out for a drink. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Lasto. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wonder, a dreamer, a man who has needs, but an idiot, and I can save you. And I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. Hey, you are the one mentioning the pretty assisting and the office manager and the I caramba, my friend. Listen, Laszlo, and listen very closely. Your marriage is a gift. It's a present from you, though. But you are a man. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can see you. But when the man, he sees his wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty panties and the scrawny brush, and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage back. He's thinking about, well, you thinking about your pretty assistant. We already know that. See? Uh, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy and put your little secretary with the short skirt and the pretty eyes? Come on, Heather. They are smiling. What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend. But you, more likely, your marriage is ruined, Laszlo. Your sweetheart, she hates you. Your pretty secretary, she wants you to be her man. You back it to square one. My friend, you and a thousand men like you. For me, once it was. The man. You don't put the marriage first, and you don't put the man first. Maybe you call it man marriage. Well, this is a bad man. It sounds really dumb. Then I think we call it Fernando's new beginning. So, how does this work? It is a miracle, Laszlo. A miracle. A man is a good father, a loving husband, the winner of bread, six and a half days a week. On the spare half day, I save his life. How? By giving him what he needs and a control in my I give him passion. What? With you? That kind of sounds like a limited mark. Laszlo, you are very prejudiced. Not like that. But no, not with me. Passion for life. Passion for love. Passion for women. Which he can take home to his wife. What, so you act like a pimp? Not a pimp. A savior. In a control environment, I reintroduce the man to a pleasure he has lost. To the... One caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bust of a woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He come in, he is like a broken man. Like a half a man. A man, if you will. He has no end man. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is the passion? She is gone. Replaced by ugliness. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty lady. She